Level 2 Fitness Instruction Anatomy and Physiology The Skeletal System By the end of this session you will be able to describe the functions of the skeleton name the bones of the skeleton and its two principal divisions explain the classification of bones explain structure of a long bone and stages of bone growth describe the curves of the spine and the types of posture and list the types of connected tissue found when within the skeletal system the functions of the skeleton the skeleton has various functions firstly protection for example the sternum and the ribs protect the heart and the lungs. The skeleton also gives us support and shape. We also use our skeleton to move. The skeleton also stores essential vitamins and minerals. And finally the skeleton produces red and white blood cells. There are 206 bones in the human body, but don't worry, you don't have to learn all 206. The bones that form the lower leg are the tibia and the fibula. The tibia is the one at the front, the shin bone. The bones that form the forearm are the ulna and the radius. The radius is the one found closest to the thumb. The bones of the hand are called the metacarpals. The bones of the wrist are called the carpals. The bones of the ankles are called the tarsals. The bone located in the thigh is called the femur. The bones of the fingers and the toes are called phalanges. The bone located in the upper arm is called the humerus. The neck region of the vertebrae is called the cervical vertebrae which has seven bones. The middle region of the vertebrae is a thoracic vertebrae, which has 12 bones. The lower region of the vertebrae is the lumbar vertebrae, which has five bones. At the bottom of the vertebrae are five fused bones, which form the sacrum. Below the sacrum is the tailbone, also known as the coccyx, which has four fused bones. The pelvic girdle is comprised of the ilium, the pubis and the ischium. The clavicle, also known as the collarbone. The scapula also known as the shoulder blade. The skeleton can be divided up into two principal divisions. Firstly, the axial skeleton. This is the skull, the vertebrae, the ribs and the sternum. The appendicular skeleton. This is made up of the bones of the shoulder girdle and the arms and the bones of the hip girdle and the legs. Bones are classified depending on their shape. Short bones are bones that are wider than their length, such as carpals and tarsals. Long bones are bones that are longer than their width, such as the femur, humerus, ulna, radius, 
tibia, fibula, metacarpals, metatarsals, and phalanges. Flat bones are bones that have a flat surface, i.e. the bones that form the cranium, the sternum, the pelvis, and the scapula. Sesamoid bones are bones that are seed-shaped, such as the patella. Irregular bones are bones that have an irregular shape, such as bones of the vertebrae and the face. Bone hasn't always been bone. It usually begins its life as cartilage and through a process called ossification, which is the process of bone formation, cartilage eventually becomes bone. It does this using two specific cells, osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Osteoblasts are cells that help to form bone. Osteoclasts clear away dead bone cells Osteocytes are mature osteoblasts that have ended their bone forming career. Epiphyseal plates are located between the diaphysis and the epiphysis of the bone. This is where the lengthening of the bone takes place. Osteoporosis is the loss of bone mass associated with aging. A long bone, such as the bones found in the femur, the humerus and the phalanges, are living tissue and they have various components that make up their structure. The expanded portion found at each end of the bone is known as the epiphysis. The long shaft of the bone is known as the diaphysis. Hyaline cartilage covers the ends of bone and acts as a shock absorber. A long bone is also surrounded by the periosteum, which is a tough fibrous sheath covering the whole bone. Compact bone is the part of the bone that is solid, strong and resistant to bending. Cancellous bone is the part of the bone that gives it elastic strength to resist compression forces. The medullary cavity is the hollow tube that runs down the centre of the compact bone. Within that cavity is yellow marrow. This functions for the storage of fat. There's also red marrow. This functions in the production of various types of blood cells. The spine has four natural curves. When all four natural curves of the spine are present and in good alignment, we refer to this as a neutral spine. A neutral spine decreases stress on all the passive structures of the body, such as the vertebrae, and ligaments. There are different types of posture, also known as spinal deviations. Hyperkyphosis. This is a spinal deviation which causes the thoracic spine to curve excessively, sometimes known as a hunchback. This can be caused by tight chest muscles and weak back muscles is very common in office workers. Hyperlordosis. This is a spinal deviation which causes the lumbar spine to curve excessively. This can be caused by pregnancy or from abdominal adiposity. Scoliosis. This is a lateral deviation of the spine. It can be genetic 
but can also be caused by muscular imbalance between the left and the right side of the body. The skeletal system also has three different types of connective tissues. Ligaments. Ligaments connect bone to bone and enhance joint stability. Tendons. Tendons connect muscle to bone. Cartilage. Cartilage lines the ends of bones and absorbs shock. This is known as hyaline cartilage. It also creates protective pads between the vertebrae, which is known as fibrocartilage. It also makes up the soft tissues found in ears and the nose, known as elastic cartilage. Can you now describe the functions of the skeleton, name the bones of the skeleton and its two principal divisions, explain the classification of bones, explain structure of a long bone and stages of bone growth, describe the curves of the spine and the types of posture, and list the types of connective tissue found within the skeletal system. For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk or simply Google Storm Fitness Academy.